All right, hello Traveling Tea Times and welcome to another video. Today's video will be of the Qantas A330 updated business class, which I took from Auckland to Melbourne. We get started here with some footage of the Qantas Lounge here at the Melbourne International Airport. Quite spacious, plenty of seating, good food options, and overall a good way to relax before the flight. I was aboard the A330-200 and was in business class. This was an award redemption through American Airlines and I was able to get three business class flights for a small price of 70,000 miles. I was pleasantly surprised that I was in the refreshed business class cabin and as you can see, it really does look quite impressive. It is in a one-to-one -one layout and as you can see, it is staggered. So I was the window seat with the seat closest to the window and my cubby towards the outside. We get started here with a glass of champagne and a quick overview of the seat. Plenty of leg room sitting down with a little footrest on the bottom and an ottoman up on top. Large entertainment screen in front of you with full touchscreen capabilities. You have a small magazine holder or laptop holder on the seat back as well. We also dive into the seat controls, which do include a massage function as well. You can adjust lumbar support and lighting controls there. You also get AC power, one USB port, and headphone ports. There is included headphones. The noise canceling is all right on them, but I would still bring your own. There's also a small mirror and a remote for when you're lying down and do not want to physically touch the touch screen. The tray table is also located underneath the right side um, with a little click handle, but we get here to our pillow and blanket for the short four hour flight from Auckland to Melbourne. So overall, really impressed with how the seat looks. And now we get to see the example of the tray table, push the button, release it, slides out, and overall holds pretty steady, it does lock into place. So you can have some added security if you're putting your laptop on there or drinks. So overall, good adjustment and really impressed with the seat product here with Qantas. Once we were airborne, we were given the menu and promptly were given meal service due to the short flight. As you can see here is the menu. Stills will be located in the full article on our website. But the service was generally very prompt as you expected. Australians are very friendly and this carried over to the overall flight attendant staff and how happy they were to be serving you on the flight. Uh, with the main dish, I decided to go with the salami ricotta and rocket ciabatta sandwich. And to finish, I ended up with the ice cream. The one slip up on this was when I ordered, I got my appetizer dish promptly on time. But following that, they seem to have forgotten my main course. So they ended up comping me an extra half a sandwich, as you'll see coming up. But we get started here with the chicken and soba noodle salad which was very good, very rich, just salty enough to get the Asian tang across, but also not enough where you're parched. Here is the sandwich. It's a warmed up roll. While the bread was a bit overpowering and thick, that's what you get with ciabatta, but in all the sandwich was pretty darn good with a good seasoning on it as well. And I do appreciate them giving me the half, extra half a sandwich as a small complimentary gift for forgetting my initial order. Thank you Qantas. Again, this service was outstanding on this flight, which really made things that much better. As we dive into the seat function, I became pampered with the massage ability and really enjoyed it. The view throughout the flight was amazing with sunset. Um, you'll see it coming up in a little bit later, but first we'll dive into the entertainment system here. This is my first time interacting with the Qantas entertainment system and initially I was thoroughly impressed. As you can see, it is very up to date and refreshed, almost has a tablet feel to it, making it very intuitive and interactive. Wide array of movies, including box sets, Marvel videos, Harry Potter, Disney, certain classics along with general Australian films as well. So in all, I was very impressed with their system. Touchscreen also was very responsive, making it that much more interactive. The headphones, like I said earlier, were okay. They do the job, but I would definitely recommend bringing your own headphones if you plan on using their onboard system. 
As we dive into TV, we also had some HBO, Nat Geo, and other box or other uh, series included. It was impressive to see the wide array of HBO shows, and you can also see that some of them have all seasons included, and some only have a certain amount of shows. So we look here at Ballers, and you can see you've got all four seasons, every episode, which is extremely impressive, especially in the entertainment realm of airlines. So again, very competitive. I think Qantas has done a great job. And as you'll see in the upcoming video where we feature the 747 business class, it has their outdated entertainment system. And you can see how big of a leap it is and how big of an upgrade it is and why I think this has put them into the top 10 of Skytrax rankings this year with overall airlines. So Bravo to Qantas and very good job. Thoroughly impressed and looking forward to the future upgrades you guys make to the system as well. As I talked about earlier, the sunset on this flight was absolutely amazing. Flying from east to west, really do enjoy sunsets up here at 40,000 feet and the colors only got more ridiculous as the flight went on. Dim mood lighting is at the seat underneath your little cubby, which was a very nice touch and creates a nice little feel, especially when you're laying down to go to sleep. I did do the lie flat test and the seat does connect all the way up to the footrest there. As you can see, I am six feet tall, so just about 190 centimeters. And I had plenty of leg room at the very end with my head all the way up at the top and no better way to take a quick rest than with a beautiful sunset out the window. Again, this was just after twilight, but absolutely amazing. Business class restroom, nothing to write home about, some nice tiling on the floor, but other than that, fairly standard for the most part. So in all, truly amazing four hour flight, really enjoyed every bit of it. Qantas certainly gave a strong first impression and I look forward to flying them in the future. Coming up next will be our 747-400 outdated business class review. But until then, don't forget to subscribe, like, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and keep traveling and keep hitting the golf course. Take care.